This is the APM 152 millimeters APO ED. Um, it's a ED doublet. One of the lenses is that special FBO 51, and the other element is lanthium. And they say fluoride. There's some fluoride particle that's mixed in with, with one of the lenses. That's what I was told. Um, it's 1,200 millimeters in focal length. And it's an eight, nine by 50 that I, I put separately. It's uh, Stalo Wu Finder. And a nice Explorer Scientific uh, 24 millimeter eyepiece. 2.5 inch focuser. Nice and smooth too, this focuser. And I used to have this mounted on the AVX mount. I mean, updated it. This is the Skywatcher EQ6 R Pro. The payload of 44 pounds. I used it last night. Great, great tracking and great pointing. I pointed stuff all night long and it tracked for hours. I had something in here with viewing the Andromeda Galaxy and the third one. I had it like high in the sky and went inside the house, came out five hours later, it was still in the eyepiece. So, it's a little kind of hard to count, you know, to balance this, but you have to put it a certain way in these weights. But it's a pretty solid mount. And, uh, it's, it's really nice. This telescope really is, see, out of focus, you might see a little color, but anything in focus, especially on a good steady night, there's no color problems at all. The planets, clusters, global, cl global clusters look, look fantastic. It's really a great scope. And, and the mount is really great also. So, the telescope costs $2,700. And the mount costs $1,600. So it's kind of expensive, right? $2,700 for the, for the optical tube and $1,600 for the... Uh, Mount. All right, so I just wanted to say, uh, this is it. All right, take care.